Fashion magazine readers across the country were asked to vote for their favorite beauty products. The results are in. Joining us now with more beauty editors, Sarah Daniel, welcome. Okay. So these are all chosen by the readers. That's right. The favorite products, and there's a range of different things, and obviously from products, but you start with brow stuff. Brows are, that's a really big thing that's happening right now. Actually, it's been for the last few years, but we've just recently added the category. So this is the first year we're showing a brow category. So in this category, the winner in under 10 was Maybelline Define a Brow, which which um, our readers like because it's sort of a waxy pencil, so it helps fill in little gaps. But it's soft enough that the, you don't have to pr use a lot of pressure. Yeah, exactly. It's very just sort of light strokes, um, and then it's just good to fill in little like gaps and things like that to okay. sort of define the brow. And then the in the above ten dollar uh, category was Benefits um, Gimme Brow, and this is kind of a this is a really cool product in that it has hair-like fibers in the gel, so you brush them through your brow and they sort of adhere to the to the brow hairs, full making them look fuller. So you're kind of adding beef to your brows. If and there's some the staying power side. to that because you're yes, brushing it on. Yes, it's waterproof as well, yes. Okay. So, and then in, in the face... Uh, mask category? Face masks. So masking is, is a big thing. It's yeah. actually become a bigger thing in skincare. There's a lot of celebrities and models taking selfies while they're wearing masks. And then there's this new trend starting which is called multi-masking, which is putting a bunch of different masks on your face in At different areas time. doing spot treatment targets. Oh, okay. So this mask that won, it's um, Biore's self-heating uh, one-minute mask. And so you apply it, it warms up on the skin, it helps clarify the skin tighten the pores. So it's just your natural body warmth that's going to heat it up. You don't have to heat it up. In it just a, heats up yeah, in its okay. own. Yes, it's got charcoal in it, which is a purif has purifying properties. And then the great thing about this, too, I think our readers liked, is that it comes in single-use packets, so you can okay. take it traveling with you. It's only a minute that you need to wear it. You wash it off. So you can do it. You can work it into your routine. It's not going to add, you know, it's like you don't have to take hours to do it kind right. of thing. Right, okay. So, uh, self-tanner. Self-tanner, yes. They keep getting better and better. This one is a, is a favorite with our readers. It's actually won almost every year since it's uh, since the product was right. created. So what readers love about this is that it's a gradual self-tanner, so you apply it like you would a regular moisturizer on and your skin. And it builds up And it builds up over time. It's a very natural look, and there's no sort of streaking or um, stained hands, which are some of the things that happens when you happen when you use a typical self-tanner. Which is nice, and that's the, 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 the great thing about the Reader's Choice Awards because people are trying That's this and right. they'll be honest. That's right, they're very honest. Okay, um, uh, sunscreen. Sunscreen, yeah. So this is one that people are thinking about right now as they're preparing to go on beach vacations. Umbrel won in both categories, face and body. And it's actually celebrating its 25th anniversary this year, so they know a thing or two about sun care. And I think what readers really like about the face product in particular is that it has a pretty solid SPF. It's 60 SPF, but also the texture isn't greasy, so okay. you can wear it underneath your makeup. And dermatologists really do say that you should be wearing sunscreen screen all the time year round year and round. so if you can put it under your makeup that's key really quickly before we go so we've got dry shampoo which um, used to be awful many many years ago and I thought when it came back and made a resurgence it would that it wouldn't last but it has it and has. people love this people love it I think it it's also linked to sort of the rise of the blowout and blow-dry bars that have been happening because dry shampoo helps extend the life of your blowout so if you get one on Monday you can keep it until Friday looking fresh by just doing a few mists the other thing that it can do is add volume and texture to fine hair so I think women with fine hair really like that as well. And that's the Tresemme product. There are yeah. a lot more articles and everything's going to be in the February issue that's of right. Fashion Magazine. Thank you so much, Sarah Daniel, Thank you for, for coming me. in. Okay, by the way, there'll also be a link to Fashion Magazine's website and that'll be on CanadaAM.CTVNews.ca. We'll be right back.